for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember, the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past, present challenge and outcome. So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have a tower card. Now this card can be, but not necessarily, an indicator of a relationship that was about to end. If you were in a relationship that you absolutely positively did not want to see come to an end, this would have been an important time for damage control and for clear communications. You needed to find out how your partner was feeling. Don't make assumptions, find out for sure. And that's what you did in the recent past or what you should have done and it's paired with the, with the Three of Pentacles. Now the Three of Pentacles, when it comes to questions about love and romance, uh, particularly if you're already, well, if you already know someone that you're interested in, this tells you that they see you in a positive light as someone who has all the qualities that they were looking for, um, in a person, in a relationship. Although love hasn't fully developed yet, um, so there's a need to be patient. If you were unattached but looking for a relationship or love at that time, this card indicates that you're likely or you were likely to meet someone through, through your work or through theirs. So you would have needed to keep your eyes open. And that's the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Ace of Cups. Now, this is a great card in the tarot. It's excellent regarding love. Either an existing relationship is going to take a turn for the better. Now, if it is an existing relationship, this could be a deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It will be almost like a new encouraging start. So if you are uncommitted, uh, you can guarantee or be quite certain that a new relationship is more than likely to appear soon. That's what the Ace of Cups and it's paired with the Fool card. So, if you take a good look at the picture, uh, it clearly shows um, that you're not ready for a commitment. At least not yet. Even though others may be pressing you for one right now, uh, now is probably not the time. There is nothing wrong with having fun and, and definitely, well, there's nothing wrong with having fun and this card is a positive thing for your love life because lots of fun seems to be in the making and this is what you really want right now in a relationship. Now keep in mind, on the other hand, if you're looking for a new relationship and hopefully love then make sure you don't let your desire for fun let you overlook the real thing should it come your way now. Because when you're so wrapped up in having fun, it can be easy to overlook the possibilities in a new relationship. True love is not always instant, so you're going to need to make sure you're aware that it could be creeping up on you. Now with these two cards paired together, the Ace of Cups, it's a great time to find love, great time for romance. Um, if you're in a relationship, it's gonna get much better, much sweeter. Uh, deeper levels of understanding and commitment. So everything good with the Ace of Cups when it comes to a new start with a relationship or an old relationship and being that it's paired with the full card uh, wow that that's a big contrast because the full card 
is is like you're more interested in being free and um, careless, uh, not really ready for a commitment. So being that it's paired with the Ace of Cups, it's really strange um, because you have the opportunity to have everything most people want right now uh, when it comes to relationships and finding love and romance, but you're just not interested at this time and you could truly miss out on something special uh, if you don't seek the opportunities that are coming your way. Uh, but now's a great time for a love and romance and finding someone special, but you're just not, you're not feeling it right now. For some reason, you'd just rather be a fool. <laughs> and that's the present. So let's move on to the challenge. We have the hair font. Now, with the hair font, when it comes to love, if you're asking a question about how your current partner is feeling, just know that they love you very deeply and it's a love that cannot be broken, okay? It's, it's, uh, it's one that's bound by all material and all that is non-physical. So it's, it's a great true love, okay? And just let me explain the hair font to you. A lot of people get confused by it. But um, when you get to a card like the hair font in a reading, it indicates that you could be searching for the meaning of life. Um, you're considered to be a great loyal friend. I'm just trying to give you some ideas of a hair font. A great loyal friend, the type of person uh, someone calls on for advice or help with some important personal issues. Um, their intelligence and intrinsic empathy puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So this could be you, or this could be someone coming towards you. Uh, this person is going to be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity. Quite frankly, they are the genuine article, the true blue. Highly admired individuals who walk the walk and talk the talk and stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. That's the hair font. Uh, a true blue. They walk the walk and they talk the talk. Okay, and it's paired with the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands, it signifies a hard place in a relationship. It can be that your lover is undergoing a rough time and it has nothing to do with you or the relationship, but needs your support, okay? Most often, however, it indicates that there is something in the relationship that needs to be examined, looked at, and considered. Just remember that you will not gain by pretending that there are no problems. If you're in the market for love, don't despair. Your time will eventually come. But perhaps now is a good time to stop. Stop your search and just take some time for rest and reflection. With these two cards paired together, uh, the hair font could be you. Like I said, it could be someone coming towards you. It could be someone that you know. They're, um, they're marked by integrity. Quick-witted, well-educated, wise teachers, okay? Um, they're great, loyal friends. Uh, they stand firm in their beliefs and convictions, and they're paired with the Ten of Wands. Now, this is a hard place in a relationship. Huh. So, if this is your, your partner, uh, this very wise well-educated, true blue person, um, you're having a difficult time probably understanding them. Uh, you're probably two opposites. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm picking up, that you're, you're two opposite people, okay? Um, 
And this could be, I'm feeling that this could be someone new that you, you just met. And um, you're intrigued by them, but you're burdened by their personality. You don't quite get them. You don't quite understand them yet, okay? Um, you need to take some time for rest and reflection. And then you'll realize that this person is genuine, that they're true blue. It seems like you're probably burdened because you're not used to someone approaching you um, in an honest, loyal, truthful way. You're probably used to a lot of people trying to run a game on you. So being that someone has come up approached you or you're meeting someone that has seemed like they're marked by integrity is really throwing you off so you're burdened with the ten of wands you're burdened by this this new person that's come into your life because you you just don't believe that that it's real there's no such thing as a loyal friend or a loyal person they're coming across too good to be true so it's weighing heavy on your mind, and um, you're having a hard time dealing with it. But that's going to be your challenge, not mine. <laughs> so good luck with that. All right, so let's move on to the outcome. We have the Nine of Swords. Now, something could be troubling you with regards to your relationship. Don't ignore your gut feelings. If you feel that something in your relationship is unhealthy, you're more than likely correct. If you suspect that something is going on behind your back, your best bet is to ask your partner about it. If you've recently met someone, don't get too carried away, believing that all is what it seems. Trust takes time to develop. Don't be in too much of a hurry, and it's paired with a magician. If you are in the market for a new romance, this is time when you are likely to meet someone new right now someone out there somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them whether they find you or not will depend on you so don't sit at home expecting mr or mrs Wright to walk up your garden path and knock on your door because they probably won't you need to be out there socializing making yourself available to be found and this is an excellent time to do just that. So get out there and meet people. With these two cards paired together, the Nine of Swords. Something is still troubling you about your relationship. What um, the Nine of Swords is saying, don't ignore your gut feelings. Uh, if you feel something's not right, then you're probably right. Okay? They just, it's... It's saying that you're probably right, so go with your gut feelings. Um, or you could either just take time, because trust takes time to, to develop. Just don't move too fast. Just go with your gut feelings and take it slow. Okay? Um, and it's paired with the Magician card. Um, you're likely to meet someone new. Uh, right now, someone out there for you, is looking for you, just as you're looking for them. Okay, um, but it seems like you still got this hair font on your mind. You, it seems like you really like them and you're just unsure. Okay, and it's telling you to take it slow. Just take time to get to know this person because he's so strange to you. <laughs> and the magician is telling, telling you that um, it's a great time to make this relationship happen. Okay, so you're just going to have to take it slow. And uh, it should work out for you because the magician, uh, he, he does magic. He can make anything happen. So just take it slow, and that will relieve some of your burdens because you're not rushing into anything. And that will be the outcome. So, Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe. Leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day.